Right, um, next thing you want to do is um, to decrease the size that your recycle bin is allowed to store. Now, um, I've not got my recycle bin showing on my desktop. Um, it's just a little tweak that I found. Um, as you can see, it's not on my desktop. Um, I'll show you that later. Um, what you want, um, be right back. I'm just gonna um, set it so that my recycle bin appears on the desktop. Right now, I've got my recycle bin on the desktop. Um, you just right click, and go to properties, and this will be set at roughly about 10%. Depends whether you changed it before or not. And um, that's quite a lot of memory from your hard drive that it's gonna store on. So I've got. 40 gigabyte hard drive, and I don't really want 4 gig of my, uh, being taken up by my recycle bin. So I'm just going to change that down to 3. Um, change it down to wherever you want. You can change it between, I'd say, between 3 and 5, depending on your hard drive. If you've got a bigger hard drive, then you can afford to have it at 5%. Um, but it still doesn't really matter. Just click apply and OK. And then that'll change the side recycle bin. So you, um, all this stuff that you have in, um, you can just, um, it's not as taking up as much memory as it normally would. I'm just going to turn the recycle bin back off again. Right, now the last thing that um, I'm going to do that's actually on the control panel on your computer that's not a program is if you go to your system again. No, not that, not system. Other options go to view tab and uncheck this one um, you only have it applied if you're on a school network or a work network but um, at home you're not so you don't need it it just takes up more room more resources searching for network folders and network printers that you're not going to have installed so you just click apply on that click OK and then um, that's that. Now that's all the um, stuff that you need without programs. Now to help Windows along you're obviously going to need a separate cleaning program. Now um, I use System Cleaner 5. It is, it does cost money but there is a free one that you can get. Um, I'm not sure or what it's called, I'll just have a search for it now. Yeah, this this is the one that I was talking about. It's using software free registry cleaner. Um, it's just easy way to um, improve it and it's free. Um, it's good, but I wouldn't have said it was as good as um, System Cleaner 5. You just click the download, um, install it, and um, it's fairly simple to use. I had it for a while before I changed the system cleaner. Um, so yeah, you got the disk cleaner function which just um, all your junk files and temporary files and stuff like that, it just goes through all of them, deletes them all just to get rid of hard drive space. Um, you got your registry cleaner, just cleans up all the files in your registry, um, any inactive things or broken links etc um, it just finds them if there's any problems it'll repair them and um, delete them um, optimize and improve option defragment your registry so you can get everything reorganized um, so search for duplicate files um, the only problem with the duplicate files one is you have to delete all the du you have to select all the duplicate files yourself. There's no select all function or delete all, which is a real pain in the ass because um, if you've got a lot like I do, you really cannot be bothered going through all of them and deleting them all. But I have and I do a I do a scan for duplicate files every near enough once or twice a week, so it keeps them down. Privacy, you can just remove all your sensitive data you don't want anyone to see. Um, Startup Manager, this was like I showed you the other day on the um, MS Config thing. 
um, but it shows you the icon so it's probably easier to find the programs that you want to use for it so like here you've got trillion it's got the icon for it um, this one this that what I used in my other video an example um, I had no idea what that was but this got an icon you can see here and up here it's got the same same icon so it's um, easier to use on this and you um, all you do is just click one click refresh and it works and it changes it does all your changes um, uninstall manager if you've got any um, files that aren't um, that say they're installed and aren't installed correctly like this find a bar one you can uninstall them from here or just delete them but if you do delete them before uninstalling them then it will be still on there but you won't be able to find it at all it's deleted the setup but it's still installed on there and it's not really something you want to do um, and that's more or less it um, like I said um, I'll post the links to these and um, for the other stuff um, I'll post what you have to do what things you have to uncheck and stuff but um, that's just the um, best way to improve your computer's performance and um, give you a better experience and if you've got a really crap computer like me with only 512 megabyte of RAM and a 40 gig hard drive it just makes the performance a lot better I'd also avoid installing things like I have like um, window blinds and stuff like that because that slows it down but um, to be honest um, I can't be bothered I want I don't want it to look plain and normal um, I want it to look like a Mac which is why I've done that and um, I will be making a video on how to make your PC look like a Mac like I have um, it's fairly simple you can but I'll explain it all in that video um, that comes up um, I'd also recommend using Safari I'm using it because I normally use Firefox but for some reason it decided to go and delete all my cookies my bookmarks my history temporary files and all that so I lost everything I had loads of important bookmarks I needed for school and stuff like that and yeah it just really pissed me off so um, I switched to Safari and it is it's really good actually um, there are pros and cons of using it to Firefox um, like um, the cons of this is you can't customize it and add stuff on like kind of Firefox but this is um, a lot more faster it loads your JavaScript faster um, if you want it, you just go to um, apple.com slash safari and download it from there. And um, I think that's about it, really. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And, um, yeah, um, see you next time.